My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. Fatherhood goes with honor. The Bible says that honor your father and your mother. He didn't say honor your good father. He didn't say honor your faithful father. He didn't say honor your handsome father. He said honor your father. Honor goes with the office of the fatherhood. The Bible makes us understand that it's fathers that bless. So for a generation to see progressiveness and blessings, we must understand that fathers have their place to take. Even in the drunkenness of Noah, he blessed Shem and cursed Ham, and it worked. Never joke with your father. Your father can be David the womanizer, but because of him, God will preserve a throne for you. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to the fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. A curse is released when a father's heart turns against a child, and a child's heart hands against the father the fathers are the institutions of blessings endorsed and legalized by god your mother can love you but it's your father that will bless you god said that if fathers and children keep fighting the next thing the earth will see is a curse women don't have seeds they have wombs that collect seeds the seed that produces human beings are from the fathers fathers are sources of life if fathers are cut off, humanity ceases. It is the men that produce seeds. For every ejaculation, a man produces over 40 million potential human beings. And only one of them fertilizes with the egg of a woman. And if you are a father and you know you are a giver of life, then you should understand how you manage your life. Because you are a transferer of life. Every single seed you bring on earth, there is a part of you that enters that seed and you cannot just live your life anyhow fathers are a source of defense they take bullets they are the warriors they are the fighters so if you will be a potential father you must understand that you will be one that will stand to fight to defend a generation and a family you have to understand this in the olden days it is the fathers that went for war and the mothers will prepare themselves waiting for the fathers to come back and they will sing for them the song of victory and the song of praises so anytime the fathers were coming from war the mothers will meet them that is how come some of the women met them and they began to sing the songs of david and said Saul only killed his thousand david has killed ten thousand women were there to celebrate men were there to fight so if you are a man, you should know that from childhood, you have been made and positioned and you have to train yourself to be a warrior in life. When the time comes, when the woman breaks down, the man must stand and fight. When children lose hope and they don't know what to do, the man must stand to fight. It is the man that will call down the presence of God if the home is dry. It is the man that prays when everybody is worried. It's the man that sacrifices on behalf of the family. It was Job that was sacrificing for his children. Listen, every man must transition from a boyish mindset to a mannish mindset. And when you transition, the first thing you see is that I have some people to fight for. Sometimes in defending your children is to make sure you deny yourself some pleasure and luxury so that they will survive. Fighting for your family is denying yourself certain things other people have. You will not have it because your children will need it fathers are a source of wisdom proverbs 1 verse 8 he says that my son pay attention to my instructions so fathers give instructions to sons they give instructions to children they give instructions at home and the same proverbs 1 says that when the father gives the instructions the mother makes it a law 
So it is the father that gives the command and it is the mother that ensures that what the father said is a law. The Bible talks about how the father should not provoke the children but should instruct them in the Lord. So it is the work of fathers to instruct the children. The next thing is that the father is the source of vision. And we all know in Joel 2.28, he says that the sons will prophesy and he said the fathers will dream dreams they will have dreams they are a source of vision and um, akam proverb will tell you what a child will stand and not see a father will sit and see if you want to make it in life if you want to do well in life locate a father and ask him what is he seeing fathers are for vision they are able to tell the future genesis 49 verse number one jacob called all his children and said come and let me tell you what will befall you your father may not be rich but he may have an insight you don't have sometimes god will bypass you and talk about you to your father no matter how john was great his father fed had an encounter before john appeared an angel appeared to zechariah spoke to zechariah about what is about to happen no matter how Samson was strong, an angel had to first visit Manoah and discuss matters with Manoah before. Don't undermine a father figure. Some of us have already tagged our fathers as bad, as evil, as irresponsible because of that we ignore their office in our lives. No matter how bad your father is, these offices still stand. When David was about to depart, the Bible said you called the son solomon and told solomon his enemies he said this guy called shemaiah be careful of him i promise him i won't kill him but i leave you into his hands and he said that i know that you are a man of wisdom apply your wisdom with him first Kings chapter 2 solomon has not met god to ask god for wisdom but his father saw and started telling solomon that solomon I know you have wisdom in you. Why? Because his father has dealt with Absalom, has dealt with Adon Adonijah, has dealt with Ammon. He has sons, but he saw Solomon and saw that this guy has wisdom. So before Solomon met God, a father has sown a seed in his heart that you were a wise boy. So if God should ask me what I want, I will ask what is already in me. My wise boy. It is fathers that see no matter who you are, you can never outgrow your father no matter who you are and the office the lord has given him you only have to submit yourself and enjoy the office that god has given it is a father that can give you a direction whether a spiritual father or a biological father it is a father that gives direction be careful listen no matter the case you have with your father god will still stand with your father never forget this thing i'm telling you god will never back a son he expects the son to honor the father no matter what. That is the key to David's success. When he had the chance to destroy his father called Saul. I'm not talking about Jesse. Saul. And then Saul woke up and saw that David had the chance to kill him. And then Saul said, my son David. And Saul said, you have made me foolish. I, I know I'm a fool. Sometimes let your own father see he has made his error. You are not the one to tell him some of you that stands and attack and even my mother said this about you and this is what you are doing and this is what you are doing be careful there are five types of fathers we are seeing today the first one is the silent father we are fathers who have gone through so much pain that they can no more explain themselves again so they are silent if you are a child in the home and your father goes to work and come back and quickly come and sleep and it's not talking don't quickly judge your father you have no idea what he is going through and you have no idea what probably your mother is taking him through there are some fathers that remain silent waiting for their foolish sons that have been attacking them to also marry and their foolish sons will come back and tell them that you have tried if this is how women are you have done well to stay with our mother for 40 years if you have done very well me i can't handle three years i can't handle four years there are silent fathers. And Adiana menena monti min kasebiu. Onunkuwa ne nimsu obie na no kasa and seme beshiyam. Enti di because some of them are totally silent. Anytime you don't really address your case, it's as if you are automatically guilty. 
and some fathers have gone through so much that this time they are not explaining themselves anymore some of them are even shy to explain what they are going through in the hands of their wives and their families are attacking them their friends are attacking them their children are attacking them their homes are attacking them everything is against them but they are silent because even what they are going through they are shy for people to hear may god make you a father that you won't go through such a battle in the name of the lord jesus but if you are a child here that have issues with your father sometimes go to your father and ask your father can you tell me your part of the story there are some fathers the reason why they are silent is that the day they will open their mouth they will cry throughout and they don't want anybody to know they are crying so they stop i was talking to a young man who is a father of two children and the moment i started asking him why are you doing this what is happening at home this guy burst into tears started crying to a point that i felt bad and he said this is why i don't talk if i start to talk i become so sorrowful that i shed tears throughout there are some men who are only silent not because they are not going through pain but because if they open their mouth they will cry before their children they don't want to do that so they just leave their mothers to complain and if you're a wife here let me admonish you don't take advantage of the silence of your husband to destroy him before his own children his own family members his own friends because he is not able to tell the side of his story the second time distressed men overburdened fathers sometimes if you know the embarrassment your husbands are going through children if you know the embarrassment your fathers are going through just to pay the fees just to give food just to just to get things working sometimes eh, before you tell your father that go and find a work to do before you tell your husband go and find a work to do before you do that sir be careful be careful no man is comfortable jobless sometimes destinies does not favor some why nem person and call no so a ya connected or sorry and not the four by four munanka ne megu e chiri no do muna more then so abusi a four okada and a brabody ne drew into what you okada so sa no ababi drew fee and don't judge such a father if such a father can fight to keep something little the reason why fathers are dying so quick is because of the stress they don't have anybody to understand them if money is not there. A father can take care of the home for 10 years. Let him lose his job for six months. The woman will start one day say, a bad woman, not a good one. A bad woman one day say, compared to my part of four. Meanwhile, he has been taking care of the family for 10 years. May God help our homes. May God help. May God help our fathers. Some are under stress. Some have loaned all around. If you know your father did menial jobs, if you know your father stressed himself, work day, night, work day, some of them go to office and come back at 11 every single day. That is how come you can go to invest comfortably. And because they are not at home, you think they don't love you. If they stay home to you, also stay home. If they don't go and come back that time to make sure there is money to pay your fees, to make sure that rent is paid, to make sure that food is given, you will stay home miserable, probably be homeless. But sometimes when they don't come early and mommy is angry, you also join mommy. But when Nimsu say, say, we are more job, we are more job, we are more job, we are Sikano and so mommy Brazilian help wage salary. Sometimes go back to your father and let him tell you the side of a story. My time is almost up. The unappreciated father, fathers, they have given all their lives to their children, but they were not appreciated. Somebody calls his father sponsor. You are not my father, you are just sponsoring me. Nobody sponsors for free. The accused fathers. Not all men are what our mothers say they are. They have been wrongly accused. And your baby, I was on any court in plan on any train plan. They have been wrongly accused. Before you attack your father because your mother was accusing him of something, sir, be careful you don't curse yourself. Some men have been evilly, wrongly, terribly accused for nothing. Their children have left them, their families have left them, they, they have been insulted, they have been called irresponsible. But Every accusation is not true, but they don't know how to talk. It is in heaven everything will be open. And some of you in heaven cannot turn back to your father because you joined the family to attack him. Many fathers have been insulted for the wrong reason. And so, and so, yeah, 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 yeah,
abontin so fo no hwe wo me ka say abontin so fo no bobosi ade be hwe o papa open nam for sempa say nya sa nam for sem na na nka djuma bi o nya yenko anya ka busua no kanim boase aka mo e to da ye jeje bibia ho mo ma yenko ni ne balance form e nam for sem nye but e to da so a nya sa nam for sem na na nka won ko an survive e ya dam fo bi ne bo ano de ne fa ba bi de ne fa ba bi e ma o nya djuma no nya contract bi a e ne de ne si ye se sa dam fo ne ba e se so di ni because onu ne bo ano e ma o nya ba bi de ne nan si ya e ne busu ani nyina e de o mo nan si you don't rise up to fight your father's associates because you think somebody says it's not good the lonely fathers there are fathers that mothers have successfully driven the children away from them they are lonely today every child sees them as devil have you seen the atmosphere around mothers day and the atmosphere around fathers day it is a sign that there is a societal mindset around fathers that is how come when we don't take care a curse will strike the earth there are fathers that are lonely at the gate of their home and they call their children the children are not picking up because they have put a fortified mindset in them but it may be that the fathers meant it so well for the children i'm saying it's not all fathers but some fathers have been unfairly treated by their own families they have been rejected by their in-laws rejected by their own parents because of something they've heard today a young man was talking to me he said that my wife has successfully sacked all my friends because he has told all my friends I'm an evil person. Almost everybody he sees that I'm working with, the next thing is to find the person's number and begin to say things I don't know anything about just to make sure that I will be alone. You know, see, I will never stay in that marriage. He said, I am alone now in life. Everybody think I'm evil. Everybody think I'm bad everybody and there are men like that who sometimes can sometimes stand in the mirror and ask themselves am i that bad because every single day there is a voice in the bedroom saying you are evil and sometimes they look around themselves and they ask what have i done there are men that are asking the same question what have i done in this life so if you have a father and you know you are mistreating that father for no reason i beg you go back Otherwise, a double will come after you. Don't let your heart turn against your father for no reason. There may be something. There may be something. If you are dealing with people who don't talk much, be careful. By the time you hear their story, it will be too late. And we know that men don't talk much. So let the sons, the daughters, the children begin to hear their fathers out. And there can be peace. If you love your mother and you love your father, you can do something to bring them together. But if you stand at one side, the family will be destroyed and you, there may be no future for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also, if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask the Lord and personal Savior. I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.